You said Jamie. I'm sorry, Dixie. Jamie. He's Tad's child. Yes, Dixie, he is. He's Tad's son. You've known the truth. You sensed it from the very beginning. Months ago, I came to you. Months ago, I asked you. I lied. You said that. I lied. All right, I lied to you. I lied to everyone. I lied to myself. Why? Because I couldn't deal. Couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal with what? The look on your face right now, for one thing. I didn't want to see that look. Dixie, I... I know what you're feeling. I can see it. I can feel it. I thought I was protecting you from that pain. Oh, so you didn't want to hurt me. But now, all of a sudden, you do. It just took me a long time to realize that I wasn't protecting you. I was protecting myself. <laughs> what? I don't know how to make you understand this. It's... I've lost a lot. I loved Laura with all my heart. And I lost her. I loved Adam. I loved the marriage that we had. And I lost it. And then Tad came along. And he was too young, and he was too married, and he was... He was too out of the question. And one day I woke up, and... And I loved him. And he died. Dixie, I lost him before he died. He was... Never mind, to begin with, he was always yours. Did Tad know about this? Did you tell no, him? No, never. About the no. I mean, I didn't even consider that I might be pregnant. Why would I? They all said that I could never be pregnant again. But when I found out that I was, it was like a miracle. It was my miracle. It was mine. So you lied. Dixie, I didn't think of it as lying. Honestly, I didn't. I thought of it like I was treasuring something. It was like a gift that God gave to me, and I wrapped my heart around it, and I kept it private. And lied to me. I just didn't want to open myself up. To what? I don't know. I had some warped fantasy that all of the people that loved Tad would line up outside the door. And they would be there, and they would demand their fair share. What could we demand of you? I didn't say it was rational. I just said I was grief-stricken. I was pregnant, and Tad was already gone. And this wasn't anybody else's child. It was mine. It wasn't Ruth's. It wasn't Joe's. It wasn't Opal's or mine. Or you. I was in some kind of frenzy, I guess. Dad's baby. Dixie, I don't expect you to understand this right now. I did what I thought was the, the right thing to do, and I made a mistake, 
and now I'm trying to... talking about children. He was always promising Junior that we'd have a brother, a little brother, a little sister. Well, now he has one. Was it supposed to be like this? I know it wasn't. It's so unfair. Yes, it is. We planned it. Dixie, I'm sorry. Dixie, now you know that Dad has a child in the world. Yours! But you don't have to sacrifice yourself anymore to keep his memory alive. You're free. <laughs> you can go on. He wouldn't want you to be this way. He wouldn't. He would want you to go on. Don't you know that? Oh. I was, I was relieved when I found out I wasn't pregnant, but now I just feel so sad. It's because part of you wants to be pregnant. I feel the same way. Do you really? Well, sure, baby. Listen, part of the reason I wanted to marry you is because I knew we'd have terrific kids. I'm serious. For why they when, when I thought you were pregnant, it just seemed wrong not to want the baby. Especially when I realized how many couples are dying to have children who can't. And just because you're not now doesn't mean you're, you're, you're not going to be someday and soon. I mean, hopefully when we're a little more ready for it.
From now, it's just the three of us. Three of us? Hmm. What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. I was just sort of thinking, um, maybe someday it'll be, uh, four of us. Well, I am the man for the job. <laughs> I want you, baby.